When Richie Vandenberg arrived at Hawthorne from Uni Blues via draft pick number 78, few could have imagined he'd go on to have such a distinguished career. By his own estimation, he was something of a battler. I suppose you hear this a fair bit, but I wasn't born with a talent, you know, that was very well documented, but I just had a determination and I think really that's what got me through my career. That determination would lead to 145 games in the brown and gold and for three years the captaincy of the famous club. She's the captain of love a goal. He's got it. Playing just one game in his first year, Vanders went on to become a permanent fixture in an improving team which under Peter Schwab fell just nine points short of a grand final. Barnard's hook in kick, it's oh, it's a goal, it bounced back. But it was another Hawthorne Essendon game a few years later that would draw a line in the sand for the Hawthorne Football Club. Oh, and Vandenberg letting lefts and rights go oh, on the beach. can't do that. And here comes Welsh to remonstrate with Vandenberg. This is the 1980s revisited. 18 players were reported, nine Hawks went into the book, Richie himself received six weeks and a $4,000 fine. But the statement was made, Hawthorne would no longer be bullied. At least Hawthorne is showing a bit of spirit here. In many ways, it was the birth of Hawthorne's unsociable football that would be the cornerstone of three flags. Yeah, we were in a really ordinary place, I think, when this ordinary field was started. And, um, and throughout that journey, obviously, with, with Clarko coaching, we managed to turn the place around. Um, I feel it's like... Uh, so I feel like Vans is probably one of the most important people in that transition. Um, he really had to do some hard yards and, and put his neck out and, and cop a fair bit and, and change, almost single-handedly I think, change the culture of the place. The 04, 05, 06 we were building up and in 07 we, we got ourselves into the finals which is what we'd been aiming for. Vanders overcame a back injury to lead the Hawks back into September but on the eve of the club's first finals appearance in six years it was time to hang the boots up. The past 10 years, my parents have driven six hours each way from a place called Kumio and back to watch me play. And that has been one of the greatest joys I've got out of the game. North Melbourne ended the Hawks' run and Vander's career the following week, and 12 months later, his teammates achieved the ultimate. Unfortunately, I wasn't one of the lucky few that got there, but you're absolutely pumped for the guys that do, and it was a fantastic day, but it wasn't the easiest of days. But Vander's contribution to that success will never be forgotten. For everything, the time, the effort uh, that he put into changing the culture, changing the, the mindset of this football club, it was the reason why we were on the, the flag.